Hey Alexa, play I Remember by T Grizzly. I'm gonna look up like where everybody go. Hey, used to carry bottles to the store. Thinking to myself like I can't. Stop. Nice to meet you, man. How you Such a pleasure. Absolutely pleasure, man. How you Thank you. Right? How are you? Very good. Right? Alexa, stop. How you look, man? Good? All good? Real good. Yeah. Nice, 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 nice. Alexa, stop. Hey, Alexa, stop. <laughs> yeah, Alexa's still trying to figure it out. Yeah, it's cool, right? Yeah. Cool. So remember we met um Facebook's event? Of course. Odd Corner Dose Society. So yeah, watch that video um, August 11th, 2016, and that's what kind of pushed me to kind of go start while I'm doing Dose Society where we go into the streets of different cities and speak to people about hot topics. And so whether someone's ranting about um, social media, um, abortion, or like topics that people have, and they say on, yeah, they're gonna agree or disagree with it. So we kind of mash it up and put it on social media and people just show us, tell us what they think about real shit. And from there, we've, been, we've managed to grow from over 25,000 followers on different kind of socials, Facebook, our biggest, Instagram, just under 4,000 now. Um, but yeah, things are going well, but what, what I can really want from you is to kind of show you what we've got and you just kind of dissect it and really think what you, what you think of it and how sure. you kind of hit yeah. next level. So, sure. This is our Instagram page. So, uh, this is the ground. This is sort of an idea of what we sort of do. So, ideally, just asking people topical questions on the street, uh, also speak to social influencers. So basically, um, so we've got two kind of formats um, where we go to the streets, speak to people on real life issues, and now we've got another format where we speak to social influencers. So social influencers within the UK, and they give us their thoughts on what's happening within the world of society right now. I've always thought street video would always, always work. Like I'm very hot on it. I think it always plays. Like I'm a big believer in this genre. Like the late night shows did it. Like, every, like I'm a big believer in it. I think the bigger question is, what do you want to happen? Mm-hmm. Go ahead. And the reason why, because I think there's two things. There's that two part, things. I understand. After that, like, okay, so you grow it. Yeah. So you have millions of eyes on it. Mm. Let's go to the next step. Mm. What? Are you here to be a nonprofit social justice thing? Do you want to make a trillion dollars? Do you want to sell t-shirts? Do you want to sell it to News Corp? Do you want to, like, I think, I think, I think growing it, I, you know, I can give you some, and we have limited time here, yeah. so I want to give you the most value. Here's how I think about that. How to grow it, um, the best way for you to grow it is to watch what I do, not what I say, right? Mm-hmm. So that, that I think I can help you with by you just paying more close attention to why I'm growing. Yeah. Like why do I have a Twitch studio? Why, why do I go on, you know, why am I trying to go on live more? Like all those things, and you're more, you know, more than welcome to ask those questions here. I think the more important question I have is what do you want to happen when it has a million followers, like I assume you want it to be a profitable business, right? Of course. Yeah. So that's why I wanted to go there. So let's go about it a different way. Yeah. I think too many people go this route. I'm gonna spend two years building this mm. and then I can go to BMW or Manchester United or you know, the booths and get money from them mm. to be a sponsor. Yeah. I would argue that you may want to think about it a different way. You can get the same money from those people right now by showing them that you can do this kind of content. And so I think a lot of people in your position wait and try to do a business model that's based on advertising. Mm -hmm. And I think you can start tomorrow and build a business based on service. Mm -hmm. Watch what I do, not what I say. I didn't first build a media company, even though I had Wine Library TV, right? Mm -hmm. I built an agency. And then I bought a media company in PureWow and I'm launching one next week that you guys are gonna read every day um, because it's really about us, right? Yeah, of course. Um, I mean, I can see it already. You, you have a sense, I wanna look at it again, but like, I can have a sense that you know what to do. Yeah, so, it's, it's you know what I would do? I would DM small and medium and big sized businesses in the UK mm-hmm. every day until the account is blocked and said, hey, we're DOS. And, uh, and We'd like to do this for you and we can make videos, we can ask people about the issues of your business like this yeah. and you can put on your channels and we can put on our channels yeah, and they'll be like, how much is that? And you're like, oh, it's like 5,000 pounds. We've done that yeah, yeah, as well yeah, with yeah. Um, one big one, so the good quote, so they got about 13.8. 
Um, so we offered them to do the Monday motivation videos on the streets of London in different cities. So that's how they that, uh, they've agreed to kind of more, yeah, yeah, more yeah, of course, yeah, yeah. more and more expensive. Hundred mm. percent. Because um, also one thing as well. What I have no relevance to me in my life. Uh, for me, it's uh, kind of a celebration for our country. It is important. It's not something that I'm going to go out my way to go and see, but I think it's important for the country to kind of get behind me. Unless they're actually actively doing something for the country, I really don't care. Who knew that there will be some sort of black individual which will have um, some diversity is going to be now incorporated into the royal family, which is superb. Uh, having colour is oh, right. interesting, having colour in like... politics and uh, in culture, but in royal family, again, uh, <laughs> it makes it relatable. Like when you look exactly. at when you look at them, when when the wedding's about to happen, you're gonna look at her and think, okay, there's someone like me who could be in a situation like that. It makes it relatable. So <laughs> oh, you're gonna get married to someone in the royal family, yeah. <laughs> You know, I mean. Where I see she's marrying into a family that sponsored slavery, so uh, we've all seen Get Out. There's going to be a whole yeah, Get Out scenario, uh, I think. To be honest, it has no relevance. hundred percent. So even our biggest video is like 2.5 million um, views, which is on Facebook, and that was about um, slavery, in slavery in Libya, yeah. and also um, Grenfell Tower, which is a big thing happening in the UK. A in Russia. The biggest thing, um, the biggest thing I would tell you that you should do. Mm. So back to spitting it, I think you're getting caught. I think you're going too heavy. In what sense? Topic wise. I think you're going too heavy. I think all of the content is in your direction. I think about supply and demand. Mm. Mm. I think this stuff is heavy and I think everybody's getting sucked into heavy because there's negativity in the system. I, if I were you, so if I became the third partner, I was like, hey guys, I want to be the third partner. And you're like, holy yeah. shit, Gary Vee wants to be our third partner. Or you'd be like, all right, Gary Vee, what should we do, yeah. right? The number one thing I would do, based on what I'm seeing here, is even some of the stuff that's lighter weight has deeper meaning. Mm. You know, bombing Syria, heavy, period, heavy. Yeah. Yeah. Plus size models, not as heavy as bombing Syria, but we're still talking heavy shit, yeah. Yeah. right? Vegans, you can still make, everything here has political undertone. Yeah. I think you guys subconsciously think that's smart because it gets polarizing reactions. Nice. I think it's not smart as you think because everybody's doing it and there's fatigue in the system. Mm. Let me give you an example. If every third one here was Coke or Pepsi, Man U or Man City, yeah, your, 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 your media company would be much better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Makes sense, and they'll love that, they'll yeah. love that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're heavy. And you need to give people an appetizer before the main meal. Okay. But do you ever think you'll ever be able to reach a point where we can go you back know, go, Yeah, go back to him. No, no, I think you heard what I said. Every, I think you need to mix high and low yeah, yeah, mix it up. at yeah. all times. Okay, cool. When it's too heavy, yeah. yeah, yeah even yeah. right now, like, if you look at the thing, like, we're getting 100 plus comments on Instagram, mm. and, like, easy, engaging people just in that paragraph. But obviously, because it's I, so polar, like you said, it attracts that kind of thing. It's great, other than I think you could get pay dirt by. Look, you're doing all the right things. Like your screenshots are so on point. Every woman has a as in the meme, meme, meme as in the baby. What's that? As in the screenshots in what sense? As in meme, meme borders or what The meme borders are commoditized. The people you're putting in the pictures are exactly oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, here are the pretty girls. Here's the clearly Israeli dude. Here's like, you're, you guys are giving good thought. Yeah. Yeah, I, so I think you're doing a lot of things right. Mm-hmm. I think you're doing one macro thing wrong. Mm-hmm. I think you need to, uh, my opinion, I think you're going down a path Everybody is going down the negative. Like, nobody looks, the, you know what's sad right now? Mm-hmm. People view this as negative. Mm-hmm. This is thoughtful conversation. I wouldn't argue it that it's negative. Yeah. I don't think it's negative. Yeah. I think they think it's negative. Mm-hmm. And it gets heavy. Mm-hmm. And, and they're, it's not, um, I think you have to try. I don't think I'm right. I think you have to see if there's any right in where I'm going. Yeah, yeah. I think it's a clever thing that my, that would be my first observation. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And what do you think, going straight into that, like you said, Man United, Arsenal, Red Bull. Um, Red Bull I think the other thing is you have to use uh, more hashtags. More hashtags. Oh, you're using them on the first post, okay. Good. Just that, yeah. Nope, then I'm okay with it. So obsessed about what other people would do. Uh, the other thing I would do is I would transcribe it. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. yeah. 
You're not transcribing it? Yeah, we, did, we literally done that, our first video on Facebook last week with the first. Yeah, 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 yeah. The first time, obviously, it just makes sense. Because right now, we're, we're, we're I don't like the whole idea Facebook of like, right oh, certain parts Facebook of the Empire, it's a word. Like, like, well. People are going to get offended by it, and that's fine, but I don't think that that should stop people saying Like, people still say the F word and everything like that. I don't think the, the racial history of the N word should stop it being like the F word. I think that the more people say it, and the more we let other ethnic groups say it, and saying things like the P word and all these racial slurs, the more they lose their power. Because I let all my white friends say the N word. And he's like, you shouldn't do that. I'm like, no, because if we keep stopping them from saying it, it's, it's still he's actually right, the power when in my opinion. Off, but it's white says it. But it's so hard to go there. there. <laughs> <laughs> I laugh so hard when I sing music and like I, I will not say it. You got black But you know what's funny, but back to black friends, like in college, my friends like wanted me to, to his point. Yeah. They were kind, like what, you're never worried about, I'm never worried about what D-Rock thinks of me because he knows all my truths. Yeah, 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 you never, you know what I mean? You never want somebody to think you're doing the wrong thing if you can help it. Yeah. I would say that the stuff like that, you see, that's a bit of quite a light heart. But again, it's interesting. Even when you guys try to, it's just where you're, where you're, you guys are at. Even when you try to do it a little lighter, it's got a negative. It's why do you think? Why do you think I'm probably doing well? I'm by default optimistic. My video would have been biggest opportunity. It's the same thing. You see where I'm going? I feel like for. Here's a good one, let's talk about like kind of heavy topics. The thing that I've been spending a lot of time on, I just can't stop thinking about it, which is I go on Breakfast Club as a 42 year old wealthy white man and my, the things that are coming out of my mouth are nobody gives a fuck. <laughs> which is like, if you read it on paper, you would be like this guy's gonna get murdered by the culture, yeah. but it's the reverse. Yeah. Cause it's coming from a good place. Mm. I'm not saying nobody gives a fuck because I think I'm better than you or I don't like you. It's that I know that the second you actually realize that, then you can start. Yeah. Because if you're holding on, right? Mm. Doesn't mean I downplay the truth. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's just like, I have truths too. Yeah. Like everybody's got truths. Yeah. Like if you're, if you're, what, I always bring up the super white rich person, they're fucked up more. Their truth is nobody will, nobody in this room, I know all four, I mean I don't know you guys, but just the color of your skin gives you a nest, and I know us, nobody's gonna feel bad for $25 million trust fund baby, mm. Tyler. But guess what? If that person happens to also be ambitious mm-hmm. and wants to have a reputation for himself, mm. he's finished. Yeah, yeah. There's, uh, us four, can get out of our situation and win, mm. he can't. Mm. No matter what he accomplishes, they'll be like, I guess he can. Actually, you go and always do something, just give it all away and start at zero and that's probably what he has to do. So anyway, uh, that is super interesting to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think you need to, because I think the nature of banter and points of view mm-hmm. is far more powerful. I, I, for example, I think that I'm gonna help entrepreneurs and people a lot more. I think I almost use my personality and my optimism as a trick to get people to do the right thing. Mm. I'm gonna get a lot more with honey than vinegar. Mm. I think if you guys mix in some lightweight shit, your other hard hitting shit will land better. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Like I look at that and I can see a lot of people like this is agenda driven. Mm. Okay. See where I'm going? Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah. I think Man U, Man City is real. Like yeah, world, you got World Cup coming up, nice and light. Yeah. Can even have, yeah. still has, yeah. you know, yeah. things yeah. in it because yeah. it's cut. Yeah. Yeah. See where I'm going? Yeah. 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 I mean, you know, I don't, I don't know the London market well, but like the Cronut was this big craze in Manhattan. I'm sure there's some food or restaurant right now popping mm. that everyone wants to talk about. Or just like, yeah, it's more like culture shit. Pusha Drake. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think you guys have permission for that. See where I'm going? I think one out of every three or four, one out of every five even if you want to keep, I don't want to deviate you from yeah, your mission, yeah, course, course. but I will tell you, the, the thing that things like this do wrong is, is yeah, 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 and then you're just like, oh, all right, I've been eating this heavy meal. Like you gotta have salad sometimes, you gotta have fucking a cupcake once in a while. Yeah. You want to get people to eat healthy? Don't make them 100% vegan. Yeah. <laughs> make it okay to eat a fucking something. And not, not that, you know, not that that's the point. Yeah, but, like, but you see where I'm going? Balance, balance, balance. I feel like I figured out my weight because I don't beat myself up if I have one bad day. Mm-hmm. 
Like I've been on point. Like okay, yeah, I want to get tighter a little bit right now, but like one bad day, like on the flight, like I've been like getting my shit together again a little bit, like even tighter and like, I didn't have a good day on the flight here because I was trying to fall asleep and wine and food, I'm just trying to go to sleep. If I just kept beating myself up, I'd be four days, but yesterday I fasted easy and had to pick a couple things I picked out. Like, you just got, it's a very important thing and I think that's what's happening here. It's like boom, boom, boom. And if you're really into it, you love it until you don't, but you're making it a very narrow thing. Yeah. Okay. It's so funny that that makes me laugh because this I believe in this so much. I want to do so much of this. Mm. Like, I want to do it a lot. We're actually going to do some stuff like this. Yeah. It'll be like, like, man on the street, two minutes, man on the street is fucking good shit. Mm. Listen, brother, blowing something up mm. is just patience. Mm. Here's why. You never know. Here's why I like Man You Man City. Do you know how many people aren't gonna fuck with this content because it's heavy? Mm. Eight out of 10. Mm. Because right now everyone's like, enough of getting fucking into political debates. Mm. Football's international language yeah. and stuff like that. It's international. And all you need is one Man You player to fucking give it love. Yeah. Mm. Honest, Telling you right now, optimism and light and happy and smiles That's wins cool. the day. Makes sense. Uh, yeah, yeah, it makes a lot of sense. Now, look at me. I'm that. I don't shy away from heavy stuff. Mm. I talk about suicide. But when you're just one, or the other way, I don't dodge and I'm not just like, no, it's all rainbows. Yeah. Mm. I go, you know, mm-hmm. you guys know my content. I can, yeah, yeah. you never really know exactly what's gonna happen. Yeah. You know, it might be heavy, it might not, but like, I think that's where you can get more virality. It may be Syria bombing, because BBC does something, somebody else, or the, the, whatever, the fucking, the, the prince that thinks it's a good piece of content, like sure, but it could also be cheeseburgers or, or chicken wings. Yeah. And I think you should give yourself a little bit of room. Mm-hmm. For real, makes sense yeah, definitely, 100%. 100%. And I think, I think you should DM micro-influencers I would say 10 to 20,000 and be like, we just like your stuff and we'd love to have you as one of the opinion people in here. Okay. So I would, when you make them, you have, I wouldn't even like make an acknowledgement to it either. Instead of making them the default, you know, first, first of all, they're gonna tag it. Yeah. And second of all, it's just like an Easter egg. You give people a reason to watch. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 because of X, Y, Z. You never know when fucking oh, Nigel Thompson shows up for no reason. Yeah. See where I'm going? Yeah, yeah, yeah It's exactly. kind of like a, it's a wink. Yeah. Like, you can't imagine how much shit we're doing. Let me phrase, he doesn't even know. I do so many little Easter eggs to my, not even DRock. I'm doing it for myself mm. or to my team. So I'll give you a preview. It's literally going to be announced ASAP. So the new men's, which is like complex meets Vice meets Forbes meets mm. Gary Vee. Mm. It's going to be called 1.37 p.m. That's gonna be my site. Yes. And I'm gonna hope you watch it every day and we're doing some cool shit, yes. interviewing people, content. We just put out a shirt that I sold and empathy is a superpower. Mm. It's like a comic book. Yeah. And in there, it says five cents, which is my favorite number five, but it also says volume 137. Nobody knows why that's there, but now like, you know, like I love that kind of shit. Yeah. Yeah. And people love that kind yeah. of shit. Yeah. Yeah. Say, oh, shit. That's- yeah, people, you know, you love that shit. Like, oh, like when like, like, wait a minute, in that first movie, in this trilogy, they actually made the head nod to what just played out? Fuck, yeah, yeah, you know? And that's what I'm doing. I'm doing all sorts of little things that like, I can point to episode 12 and be like, you'll be like, oh my, it's gonna be like, oh, he's been thinking about this. Yeah, yeah, this yeah. isn't luck. He, mm-hmm. <laughs> Thank you, man. Pleasure. 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 Yeah, Pleasure. sure. Oops, yeah. That's, 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 that's mine. Oh, yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> also, yeah, a few days ago, obviously I saw you in a Tottenham kit. Yes. Uh oh, there we go. I'm excited. I love that. Here we go. Yes, yes, yes. Oh my god, I'm so pumped right now. See that Tottenham shit? Bro, I'm so I love it. I'm I'm literally gonna wear this. Literally gonna wear this. Oh you have to. I can't wait. I'm I'm gonna have i I'm gonna have every team Vayner took five jersey of every fucking team before this is all done. I love it. It has to be awesome. Awesome. A few days ago, so my boy had a Tottenham shirt. I couldn't have that. <laughs> the debate is on. What is going to be the squad? It has to be. It has to be. We'll awesome. see. It has to be awesome. Has to, I love it. it. That's nice. amazing. <laughs> Iraq, you have to, have to, have to <laughs> make sure I get that. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I remember being broke. Yeah. I know if all this money go, I'm gonna look up like where everybody go. 
I remember sleeping on the 